All right, making the Songbringer spin-off multiplayer game Wraithbinder and currently working on Fog of War. My goals for Fog of War were to create something that looks visually unique compared to other games that use Fog of War and also to create a sense of mystery. Uh, one of the things I'm adding right now is a little bit of exploration. So this is sort of like a um, a death match where you're going and killing other players and when you kill them you you um, basically they're on your team now and um, last person left alive is the MVP and then you all fight a boss it's kind of uh, there's a lot to it but there's also some exploration so I'm trying at least I'm trying this out right now so right we've got this like switch you can hit right here and that'll lower these walls around your base and I'm gonna add in some um, creeps you can fight and things like that Try it out, see what it's like, see how it feels. So Fog of War is really related to that, adding this sort of like mysterious element um, that makes you want to explore, like what's back there? What's beyond, beyond that fog? Um, it looks kind of um, a little bit gritty or, or like, uh, you know, integerized. You can see that it, it's sort of like chunky how it moves around a little bit. I'm still working on it. And um, also, it's supposed to when you it's supposed to show where you were um, a little bit, and right now it covers up even where you were, uh, where the part of the map that you've uncovered already. Um, it's supposed to make that you know like somewhat visible, but it's not right now because of some other math I'm messing up on. Um, but let's check out what it looks like when you're actually zoomed in. Let's zoom in halfway looks a lot better when basically you've got zoom enabled this is how the game is normally gonna run you're when you're a little bit zoomed in um, and it's automatic it like zooms out when you're um, near other players so it looks a little bit better right you're having um, you're not as close to the fog and then if we zoom all the way It looks even better. Well, that's because you only see a little bit of it. Uh, so let's get near some other players. You can see how it starts to zoom out. And you'll be able to see a little bit more of the fog that way. So lots left to work on with this fog. Um, getting that chunky movement down to being smoother. Um, and all also when you blink it kind of like it goes away for a second because that's really the only thing I've found to make it it's already doing some blending of positions to when it's moving the fog around so when you move super fast like when you teleport or when you blink um, the only solution I've found right now to make it smoothly move is to make it fully uh, transparent when you move fast so th there's a lot of work I have left to do here um, but I think this is going to be a good thing. Oh, another big thing is that when you rotate the camera, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> um, yeah, I got to fix that. It's basically because it's using a render grid right now of where the fog is. And so when it's accessing the grid, it's not, um, it's accessing it as a, as if it were a rectangle, um, at camera rotation zero. So when you go to camera rot rotation 45, even all of that messes up so this is where it's basically ticking the fog of war it basically loops over the players um, that are on your team and then uh, determines the fog value at that position in the fog grid and this sets that position in the fog grid and then um, it animates it by basically looping over that that rectangle which I was me mentioning um, which needs to be smarter so when you rotate the camera it, it uses the right rectangle but basically, um, it basically creates a, a grid of sprites and then um, animates them every single time you call this animate function by moving its 3D position of each fog entity in the grid and then sending the opacity of each fog entity in the grid. So that's how that works code-wise. So yeah, I'm uh, this I'm I'm. This little task here, creating Fog of War, has taken me multiple days so far. It's really, it's not as simple as you would think. You're just like, oh, let's just add some Fog of War. But no, it's, it's a little bit more complex than that. You know, there's because there's a grid, 
there's especially the animation it's like how do you get the animation to be right because if you were to go create um if I were to go create a, a fog grid that's or actually the anim there's the, there's the fog grid and then there's also a small grid a smaller grid that represents just the fog entities that would be visible on the screen right and that's to keep the render animation uh, and the ticking really low right right now we got a render tick about 51 milliseconds when I first tried it sort of the um, naive way I created a bunch of fog entities there are sprites fog sprites that were all over the entire map and that put the render tick way way higher we're talking going from 50 milliseconds where it's at now to like 300 milliseconds which is a lot more so we're it's it would be much harder for an, an average computer to keep this at 60 frames a second that way so um, basically that was the naive approach and now I'm, I'm working with this small approach where you've just got enough fog sprites for the current screen and um, once again that's what causes this issue when you rotate so I need to work on that so we get it back to that rotation we've got it so yeah, there you go. Lots of prog lots of progress made on this fog of war, but still a lot left to go. So I may just kind of pause this and start working on some other more important stuff this week. I'm not sure. It's cool to have. And it will be really cool. Once it's done and it's really nice, it'll be really neat, I'm sure. And I'll, maybe I'll experiment around with it. Right now it's got this sort of like bright look, right? Which I, which I like because it gives it sort of a unique look compared to most fog of war and you would see in a typical game that has fog of war. <laughs> So, yeah. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.